In today's wrap-up, ex-president Robert Kocharyan has been released from jail. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has discussed the Armenian genocide. The head of the Venice Commission has voiced support for democratization in Armenia. The government has announced new regulations to prevent overfishing in Lake Sevan. And 665 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed. Former President Robert Kocharyan has been released from custody after a judge granted him bail worth over $4 million. The Criminal Court of Appeal made the decision after hearing the position of Kocharyan's defense attorneys and prosecutors. Kocharyan is facing charges of overthrowing the constitutional order after the disputed 2008 presidential elections that resulted in mass protests and the killing of eight protesters and two policemen. This is Kocharyan's third release from detention in two years. Overall, he has spent more than a year and a half in detention. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has discussed the Armenian genocide during a four-hour-long closed meeting at the Turkish President's office's Supreme Advisory Body. According to reports, Erdogan discussed what can be done against the international Armenian lobby, stating that we will not allow hatred to be sown through distorted historical events. During the meeting, comprehensive steps were discussed to prevent the work of the Armenian bodies, as well as projects that can shed light on issues with historical and legal aspects. Spokeswoman of the Armenian Foreign Ministry, Anna Nakhdalyan, responded, saying the statements made by the Turkish President justifying the Armenian genocide and insulting its victims are not new and are expressions of hate speech, which have an impact on maintaining and strengthening the atmosphere of xenophobia against Armenians in that country. Nardalyan concluded by saying denial has no future, no matter how hard the Turkish authorities try to suppress the truth. President of the Venice Commission, Gianni Bukwikyo, has voiced support for democratization efforts in Armenia. The Venice Commission is an advisory body of the Council of Europe, with expertise in constitutional law. Speaking on the situation in Armenia and Moldova, he stated that in Armenia and Moldova, oligarchic regimes have been overthrown, and we are accompanying both countries in their efforts to renew their democratic system. He also spoke about the challenges Armenia is facing, adding that the right balance must be met between people's expectations and real change, as well as requirements of legal stability and maintaining the rule of law. The Armenian government has applied to the Venice Commission for advice regarding the crisis in Armenia around the Constitutional Court. Pashinyan government wants to rid the court of seven judges who were appointed prior to the 2018 Armenian Revolution. The government called for a referendum to decide the fate of the judges, but the ballot was postponed indefinitely due to the pandemic. The Commission will soon publish two documents regarding the Constitutional Court and constitutional amendments in Armenia. During a session of government, a draft law was approved which aims to regulate fishing in Lake Seban. Acting Minister of the Environment, Vahe Jilavian, explained the details of the bill which will disallow the fishing of all native species except for whitefish and can only be done 500 meters from the shore. Fishing will also be prohibited from October 1st to March 1st and industrial fishing will only be allowed during daytime hours. This comes as concerns have been raised about overfishing in Lake Seban, which has depleted native fish populations. 665 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in Armenia, raising the total number of cases to 18,698. 746 recoveries were also confirmed and 7 deaths, raising the death toll to 309. Three new cases were also reported in Nagorno-Karabakh, raising the number of cases there to 94. In other news, a plane loaded with medical supplies and equipment arrived in Armenia from Serbia. After a phone conversation between the presidents of Armenia and Serbia, Serbia promised to provide humanitarian assistance to help with Armenia's coronavirus response. Sivunets Mekertic Kaharapetyan spoke to Haik Yesayan, a former director of Yukon, Armenia's largest internet provider, about why he and his brother want to buy one of Armenia's largest phone operators, Beeline. Yesayan also spoke about his quarrel with the Khachatryan family, who are major shareholders in Yukon. Gaki Khachatryan was Armenia's finance minister and head of the state revenue committee during the previous regime. He is now under arrest and charged with embezzlement and abuse of power. <laughs>